Hey guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use jQuery to create draggable and sortable divs. So you can see this is my example. So you've got a list, uh, sorry, um, two lists and there's many divs inside. I can actually click and drag each div and move them around. An example of this on a real world example is this one right here, so the BBC website. So they've got many different um, sections, different divs and you can actually move them around so this is quite a cool example so just showing you guys this on the jQuery UI website so if you go to jQuery UI the dot the demo section the sortable section you can see that there's many different examples of this so you've got different items that you can move around and uh, different things right here and the code for each one is right at the bottom so if you press view source you can actually download the code or actually copy and learn from the code okay so the f so let's get started with our example so the first thing we need to do is go to jquery.com and then press the themes section or you could actually just download the sec the um, jquery UI from the download section but I'm just going to show you guys the theme section so if you go into the theme section you can see there's many different parts that we can download to this um, bundle so you've got the accordion so this is an example of the accordion this is the tabs and this is the dialogue and so on and you can actually go inside and actually customize the theme and actually change the colors and the text and the font and so on what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select one that they've predefined for us and I'm just gonna hit the download button download this theme so once we've downloaded our theme you'll end up with a zip file once you've extracted your zip file you'll get this file right here and inside the file you'll get the CSS section so if I go inside the CSS section and go inside the start section this is the cascading style sheet the CSS sheet going inside there there'll be an images section so these are the images that will help make our website look a little bit better so okay we've also got the development bundle and there's a lot a few demos in there you guys can check out now something that's really important there's this JS section which stands for JavaScript in there you will find jQuery two different jQuery files and these are the two files that we'll be referencing later on so just keep them two in mind okay so once we've got that downloaded I'm gonna use Dreamweaver to actually create mine so the first thing I'm going to do is go right here and press manage sites going to create a new site I'm just gonna call it list just to save time and then load the file which is on the desktop at the moment and I'm going to press select and save okay now from this point on hopefully it shouldn't take me m longer than five minutes so make sure you guys comment rate and subscribe to the channel okay so once that's done press done what we need to do now is press new so I've created a new HTML file so going into the header section of the HTML the first thing I need to do is type in my script uh, tags so I've just done the angle brackets and type in script and then the type of script is JavaScript so text slash JavaScript and the source so I'm just going to source this to JS and I've done the ja j uh, sorry the jQuery min and press OK and then I'm just going to close this script tag okay so I'm just going to copy this one more time because we need to reference two of our both our jQuery files so I'm just going to paste this but this time all I'm going to do is change the source section I'm just going to source the second file source and okay so okay once we've done that we now need to start typing in our jQuery now the jQuery will also be typed inside the script so what we need to do is type in our script type and JavaScript and also close our jQuery I mean our script the HTML script tags okay so now we're ready to type in some jQuery what I'm going to do is type in the dollar sign and open close brackets and open up my speech marks in there I'm going to type in document dot ready and that is the ready class and once the document is ready we're going to call a function
and I'm just going to put my semicolon in there. Okay, so these are the syntaxes for the line of code. I'm just going to press enter, enter, enter just to give me a little bit of space and I can actually start typing in my jQuery from this point onwards. So just showing you guys the example we are going to be calling the sortable and the disable selection classes. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that that bit of code and I'm just going to paste that in there. Okay, so I've called the sortable and the disable sortable and both of them have been added to the left tags. Okay, I'm just going to change that from left to list. Okay, and what I'm going to do is go into my design view and I'm going to actually create a div. So I'm going to press the insert div tag and then I'm going to give this div a ID of class of container. And I'm going to give it a ID. So this is very important. Remember we called the class using the ID. So I'm just going to call this the list uh, with the list ID. And I'm going to add a new CSS rule and the CSS rule is going to be added to container so dot container which was the class so it's the same it should be the same spelling and I'm going to set it to class and press OK I'm going to add a box I'm just going to add 1000 in width and I'm going to add 1000 in height and I'm just going to float it to the left Okay, so just check out my CSS tutorials if you're not familiar with CSS, but I'm assuming we should be. So I'm just going to press OK and OK. So now what I need to do is put my divs in there that are going to be movable. Okay, so just going to insert a div and I'm just going to give it a class of um, inside. Okay, we add a new CSS rule and I'm going to add this CSS rule to everything that's got the class inside I'm just going to hit the OK button and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the background color to blue and I'm going to hit the OK button going inside my code view all I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this div control C control V a few times okay and I'm going to just type in one can do that actually inside here. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to hit the F12 key, save this as anything at the moment, and hopefully I should be able to drag and drop my files. I know it's a little bit difficult to see what I should have done is actually created margins and actually made the divs a little bit more uh, presentable to the eye. But I'm sure, sure you guys will actually make your divs more eye-catching. Maybe try something a little bit like the BBC website and actually make it more sophisticated. But the point I wanted to make to you guys is that you, we can actually get our divs to move just going inside the code view. So this div right here has got the ID of list, okay? And it inside this div, we have got three other divs, yeah? and this going inside the jQuery section we can see that we're referencing to the div ID which is sortable and also disable selection okay so what that does is makes everything with the ID of div everything inside the div tag with the ID list will become movable okay so I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial I know it's not as easy as it seems but I'm sure you guys will get it. Make sure you comment, rate and subscribe.